This is my mom and Zoe. And welcome to the Mom Show. Welcome to the Mom Mom Show. Hello every Mamsh and Papsh. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Mamsh and Papsh, thank you for helping us reach 500 plus subscribers. We wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much. And again, we are still receiving a lot of comments and likes on our Facebook page. So thank you so much for helping us reach our goal. So recently, I posted something on our Facebook page which a lot of mommies all of the moms there um, share their stories about self-winning so I just want to share my own stories about breastfeeding so it's a first-time mommy to Zoe who is now three years old recently uh, reached her goal of self-winning so let's congratulate Zoe for that and all the mommies and babies who just self-win congratulations to all of you thank you so much Zoe <laughs> you're welcome um, so recently we posted something on our Facebook page about self-winning so a lot of mommies um, are curious about how um, how to do it successfully and probably I can just share a few tips on how we did it I just want to share our own experience breastfeeding Zoe for three years wow. and three months so it was an easy process probably because I am home based so I'm a wow. I'm a work at home mom looking after Zoe doing chores and um, of course working so na juggle ko lahat yung things na yon at the same time daily marami din ako ang um, pinagdaan at pagdating sa breastfeeding meron yung bumili ako ng mga breastfeeding clothes meron yung bumili ako ng mga pang cover and all of that I am a proud bre breastfeeding mom and it's not wrong to buy those covers because of course hindi naman natin mapipis lahat ng tao we still need to be publicly appropriate kasi it's not everybody naman na mapipis natin pagdating doon diba so we still need to cover we are still breastfeeding our babies and there's nothing wrong about that tip number one Course. Let's take it slow, so slow. So let's take it slow, mommies. Um, let's not push our babies right away. Of course, we may have our own reasons as to why we want our babies to self-win. Because when it comes to self-winning, it really takes a lot of time. And it's not overnight. Now, when you pull the press and say, Okay, stop ka na mag-feeding. Hindi. <laughs> a lot of... Maraming mangyayaring pag-iiyakan, maraming convincing, maraming pag-uusap ang mangyayari between you and your kid. So be ready. It's self-winning. It will take a while. A lot of talk, a lot of discussion, a lot of, of activities just to, to keep them busy. So pagdating sa self-winning, the first step really is to take things slow. Don't push them. Don't force them. Talk to them. Take some time. Give them a lot of cuddles because that's really important. Get an alternative source of nutrients. Of course, since magsa-stop na si baby, at the age of 6 months naman, um, our baby should start with tamang kain, di ba? So, those who are members of breastfeeding groups like Breastfeeding Pinay should know about the word tamang kain. So, tamang kain is encouraging our kids to start uh, eating food um, and slowly getting away from yung breastfeeding and and formula yung alternative lang na binigay namin sa kanya when medyo lumaki na siya let i think uh, like a year and a half na siya or a year no a year and a half to be exact bigyan namin siya ng fresh milk so yung fresh milk binibigay namin sa sa grocery mas type niya yung consistency no na i think than yung kinakanaw na milk so ngayon tinray namin yung lactum tinray namin yung nido tinray namin alaska ni talaga niya magustuhan so we just stick to kung ano yung nagustuhan niya which is fresh milk you may try that because i asked that from our pet yung kung okay lang yung fresh milk sa mga babies and mas preferred niya yon na ibigay sa baby uh, because a powdered formula mas mataas yung sugar compared doon sa um, fresh milk 
refuse but don't offer. So most of the time dahil nasanay tayo, nasanay din sila. Ang ang tendency natin is pag umiyak sila, we give them the breast. If na napalo sila, we give them the breast. If they feel something, we give them the breast. So the first step really is ikaw din as a mommy is mag pull away ka ng onte doon. Uh, don't offer the breast. Pag nag-ask siya, sige, go ahead. But, um, you don't offer it just like the usual na, okay, sleeping time, mag-dede ka na. Diba? So, hindi na ganon. Pag sinabi mong sleeping time, hayaan mong siya yung mag-ask if she, if she or he doesn't ask for it then don't offer it. Kasi that's the first step. Ibig sabihin, your baby is trying to pull away from yung usual routine niya. So that's a good sign. Ibig sabihin, you are in the process of self-winning. And that's, that's the first step. Talk and prep things out. So, um, with Zoe, um, medyo matagal yung talk process namin. But because it made it easier for me because she has cousins, na mas matanda sa kanya. So, nakikita niya yung na sila hindi sila dumudede o hindi sila. Ang term kasi ni Zoe really there is buba. Buba, yay, yay! Buba, yay, yay! Uh, it started with Tita Mela. Yung term niya talaga doon is baba and then nag-transform na lang kay Zoe to buba and then it became sa buba, yay! So, yun yung term niya doon sa breast. So, um, sa kanya, we, we try to talk things out at night, ganyan, na sinasabi namin, alam mo ba yung mga classmate mo, they don't longer, they no uh, longer drink uh, milk sa baba ng mommy, or hindi na sila nag, nag chuchupon, etc. So, they have more time to play. Of course, may hesitant pa sa una, dahil nga, um, nakasanayan nila yun eh. It's a routine. So, to pull away from the routine, you have to do it slowly. Expect and welcome crying. So, yun nga yung sinabi ko. Um, dahil there's um, may withdrawal syndrome pa sila. And dahil it's a routine na nakasanayan nila. And nahihirapan pa talaga sila. Um, tendency talaga is magkakaroon kayo ng iyaka. Because hindi sila sanay. And that's what babies do if they don't feel comfortable with things, di ba? They cry. So, okay lang yun. Uh, offer a hug, offer a small talk, offer cuddle. Pagurin natin sila sa gabi. <laughs> so, yung tip na yun, I'm not sure if all of you would um, agree or disagree, but um, effective naman siya sa end namin. <laughs> So, how do you do it? Magpagurin sila sa gabi. Play kayo, read kayo ng books, write, ganyan, color kayo, do things, do different activities um, na ma-exhaust, sorry, diba? Exhaust yung, yung energy nila. Because ang tendency naman is pagpagod ka na, wala ka ng time really to dede, diba? So, wala na silang time to breastfeed. So, ang tendency is just really to sleep. So, yun yung, yun yung tendency ng mga babies natin. Reduce concessions and give choices. So, it's nice to have a small talk with your kids, lalo na pag nag-start na silang um, magdadadaldal. Bigay ka ng choices sa kanila. Do you want to breastfeed or do you want us to read books? Diba? Do you want to breastfeed or do you want to drink milk sa cup? So, yung mga ganong choices... Um, it, it stimulates their brain plus um, it's good for decision making process in the long run for the kids which is also important with their mental health um, and also nakikita natin yung progress nila dun sa pagsiself win if they decide to um, sabihin nila sige di drink na lang po ako sa, sa cup ng milk then that's good because she, she or he made a decision. If she said, okay, uh, but I still want to breastfeed, then offer it because yun ang choice nila. But then again, you know, uh, discuss it slowly na, well, later on you need to stop because you're growing up.
again, we encourage tamang kain and we encourage that you go to your pediatrician and ob to check if may problems ka with um, self-winning, di ba? Kasi they could help naman uh, in providing you with tips on how to do it. Let's not, uh, let's go away from yung mga tradition natin na pwedeng makaharm sa babies natin. Self-winning, yung goal mo, it would take time, it would take patience, just like when they first started talking, when they first started eating, lahat yan, it's a milestone and slowly papunta sila dun. So let's not force them right away. Hindi siya overnight mommies. This video is not to undermine those mommies who decided to do formula or those mommies who decided na i-win yung baby nila um, na hindi self-winning. So yung ibig sabihin, you just pull away the breast and then move to another source of milk. So, hindi, this is not to put you down, but this is just to give a few tips on how we did it for those mommies who are curious on how to do it as well. So, please continue to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and our YouTube videos, and I hope you pick up a few things. Those are the things that we have for you, mommies. Thank you for watching our videos, and make sure to like and subscribe to the mommies. See you on our next vlog. Bye-bye, everyone. Send daddy. Bye-bye.